y'all. This video is sponsored by Light and Easy. Now you guys, this is the perfect machine for that one cup of coffee under 13 ounces. Now let's get this baby out of the box. Now when I took the machine out of the box, I noticed that it had a simple appearance. It wasn't over the top um, of a coffee maker and I really like that because it also had a slim design. So this is a solid white and simple design which gives your coffee machine a classic stylish look and it fits in almost any home, how are you feeling? But not only that, I love how it does not take up a lot of space on the counter. Because you notice how on a counter in a kitchen, the two things that are overly in the way are coffee makers and toasters. I know in my house, it was always coffee makers and toasters. Now before I make a nice cup of coffee, I want to do our breakfast. So every Saturday morning, I always do a nice brunch for the family. And I'm gonna surprise Nana with a nice cup of coffee because we didn't bring our old coffee maker to Texas. Now there y'all go, y'all hear that jam, y'all hear that jam, that's overthinking. Now here I am cooking a nice brunch. Now I had a couple people ask me, does my mom cook? And it's funny cause she was like, girl, my cooking days is over. That's what she had said a long time ago, like back in Connecticut. And she still cooks some certain things. Like a lot of y'all are obsessed with her, her fried chicken. I was about to say chicken nuggets, her fried chicken. And so the kids, they will scream for that fried chicken. But I cook all the time. And it's like, my mom is retired. She's chilling. I just like to spoil it. Like, you don't gotta cook, go sit down. So I spoil Nana. Like, don't touch nothing in the kitchen, you know? But when she wants to cook something, she, she'll make something. But like I say, about 95% of the time, it's me cooking. And I don't mind, I like it. And so, and now that we're gonna be making this coffee and this nice coffee pot, I'm really spoiling Nana today. Shoo, can't tell me nothing. Now let's get back to the coffee machine. Now when you are using this machine for the first time or using it after a very long time, what you wanna do is you wanna clean it. So you wanna run the whole 13 ounces of water through the machine, clean it out, you know, boom, boom. And it's so easy a one-stop shop just press that button right there because it ain't all them 50 million buttons on the machine press that one button when it turns blue you are ready to go look at that so I'm just gonna sit here and let it run through the whole cup you don't you're not putting any coffee in the machine yet you're just letting it run through the hot water so after you have that just discard the water and now we are ready to make our first cup of coffee so I'm going to re-put some new water in here. So we're going to put some new water in. And then I am now going to apply my coffee. Now I don't have any like little K-Pods. I don't have any coffee pods. So I'm going to remove that. And I'm going to replace it with the other holder that they provided. Now this one, the gray one, is for coffee grounds. Because that's what Nana has. So I just want to show you what it looks like here. And I am going to put in the scoop of grounds. I'm so excited. See, Nana doesn't even know I'm making her coffee. She's going to be shocked. How are you feeling? Now, I don't drink coffee, but Nana absolutely adores coffee. Or should I say she likes she likes um, some coffee added to her creamer because she loves to pour a whole bunch of creamer in her coffee. So let's just press one button, wait for it to turn blue, and you are ready for your coffee. Look at that, y'all. Now, it doesn't brew that fast. I, I am speeding it up. I'm speeding it up for you guys. But it does brew rather quickly, and I love how you can walk away do what you need to do come back and your cup of coffee is ready for you and now I'm going to add some nice creamer now Nana likes to overdo her cream so that's why her coffee gets so light but she loves some coffee with her creamer instead of saying creamer with your coffee yeah she likes a coffee with a creamer now you see how easy that was just to make that one cup of coffee y'all I'm telling you you take this machine straight out the box and it is ready to go there's only one button on this machine so it's so easy light and easy calls that their one press fast brew so with that one press the coffee machine will preheat and brew your coffee automatically allowing you to complete your task while your coffee brews <laughs> y'all know I always got to be silly 
And this machine also has the auto sleep function. So it's a power saving mode. The machine will automatically go into sleep mode when it's inactive for over nine minutes. So if you're like, oh my goodness, did I forget to turn off the coffee machine or the coffee pot? You know we all have said that before. You know we always left the house and driving down the road on the highway, maybe right off the exit and you're like, did I turn off the coffee pot? <laughs> you already know that's how we do. Now, although I don't drink coffee anymore, I drink tea. You can still use this. They have they have tea pods. And if you don't want to buy a teapot, all you got to do is just run the hot water through that. Boom, you got yourself a cup of hot water. Dip your tea bag so you can get this as well if you don't drink coffee. And you know I'm going to mention again how beautiful this looks and how slim the design is. It doesn't take up your counter space. That is another number one thing. When it comes for me with, with a coffee ma a coffee maker, it had it, I, I needed three things. I needed three things. Things. I need it to not take up the space on my counter. I need it to be easy to use and I need it to make my water hot and I need it fast. Okay, so the hot and fast at the same time. You know what I'm saying? You can say that's four things. You can say it's three and a half. You know what I mean. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link down in the description box below so that you guys could check it out and get yourself a light and easy coffee maker to put in your home as well. Now, I almost forgot we have a Nana cup. So I'm actually gonna replace this coffee, or right, like not replace it, but you know, pour it into the Nana cup so that Nana could be nicely surprised with her nice cup of coffee and her Nana cup. How you feeling? And there we go. We got the brunch, y'all. We got the brunch. I love cooking for my family, it's fun. You know, the funny thing is, I kind of dread cooking dinner. I guess because it's at the end of the day. I don't, once I get started, I'm fine, but I don't need to be revved up for breakfast and lunch. It's usually dinner I gotta be revved up for, but I love cooking anyway. It's fun, and I love to see my family when they get all excited when they eat the food, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, I just love providing for my family. Oh, look at my mama. Let's see if she likes it. Let me check up my coffee. <laughs> Gave you a lot of cream. Oh wow, it tastes good. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Oh, that tastes good. I miss my coffee. <laughs> Got her coffee. Yeah. Toilet eggs up. Wow. What the microwave? Yeah, you you ate most of your eggs before and then even sat down. Yeah. <laughs> and I just put their drinks down because they drink after they eat. And let me sit down and eat my food because I ain't even start yet and everybody else is almost done. It is so nice outside y'all that I am going to blow up some water balloons and the kids can have a water fight right here. Boom, boom. They got enough. Yes, they do. Put this out here, put that out there, and they can just have fun. Oh, he done trapped himself. He's not making no sense. <laughs> <laughs> Got you. Like just smash it on her head. <laughs> oh, you wet me. I 
I'm getting away from y'all. They ended up wetting me. They got me wet, y'all. Eddie did. Yeah, yeah. Yep, and I got you. And I got a glass of wine, little lady. Okay, you're a, you're a cup of Kool-Aid. He's going to buy you a baby doll for Christmas. I love a baby doll. <laughs> then yes. I have the ingredients on the second page, the next page. Mm-hmm. Whoa. What, what are we supposed to have for Christmas to eat? Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Greens. Okay, greens. But mac and cheese, you know I have um, greens. And I got Cranberry sauce. Yeah. Yep. Nana got that up there. Yes. Um, yams. N Nana got that up there. Um, some I'm sort of chick, some sort of meat. Yep. Sweet Nana got potatoes. that up there. Yeah, sweet potatoes. Well, yams. Oh, nothing else. That's all we usually have. Um, let's do a little change. Yeah, Christine do stuff, and I don't eat stuff. Well, he said, let's do a little change. Let's do some broccoli. <laughs> Roy, we got collard greens. What about... Mm -hmm. Ow! I mean... Ow! I never had that before. I keep splashing. What else? Look at that! Oh my god! Like that. Where is he? He's on the couch. What else, Eddie? Um, can we do... Um, what else? Can we do some little ice creams? Little ice creams? Well, she did put ice cream. And the last page is it's a top of the okay. I mean, like, stuff. Okay. Oh, look at it. It's like three pages. Yeah, I broke it down. I be looking all over the place. And when you go to the grocery store, you just take the, Get the, it. Uh, the second page. We're doing our Christmas list, y'all. Christmas list. You know what's funny? We're coming up with Christmas, but we ain't coming up with Thanksgiving. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it's just yeah. us, though, for Thanksgiving. It's yeah. just the four of us, and we'll eat something like a Sunday yeah. dinner. Yeah. It's Christmas. Oh, they're coming back. This is a big bug. I got to swat. He said I'm a big bug. Trying to get this pink bug. Okay, so I got to write that. Okay. Yeah, big bug. Yeah, big bug. Just sitting out here, y'all feel so good. Mm -hmm. mm, mm, mm. Feels so good. Yeah, we've been cooking today. And now we're making a food list for Christmas. Okay, y'all. This vlog hasn't been us going anywhere today or anything, so I hope you guys aren't bored with it. But I'm gonna make it interactive. Oh, the minute I have to talk to y'all. Yes, Eddie. You love a bad balloon. Okay. Oh, good. <laughs> okay. I'm going to make this interactive with you guys. So, in the comments below, I would like for you guys to tell us what type of vlogs, like the style of vlogs, that you guys like the most. Do you like when we go places? Do you like me sitting and talking to you guys? Do you like more of seeing the kids? Is, are there the type of styles that we don't show that you would like? So, tell us in the comments below. So then we can start putting together what type of vlogs you guys would like. Because like uh, December's coming, so it's gonna be Vlogsember or Vlogmas. Some people call it Vlogsember, some people call it Vlogmas. Now we got some, we got a while before we get there, but at least I'll have everything written down on what type of vlogs you guys wanna see. That'll be so fun. So in the comments below, I want you guys to put down the type of vlogs that you guys like. And um, if there's any type of Q&A, put that down in the comments below. Any questions? Except for the question, why did you choose Texas? Like, why did you move to Texas? I'm gonna link the videos down because I've, I've answered that in like two videos, I think. Yeah, so I'll put that down there. So like, no repetitive questions. Um, if I see any repetitive questions, I'll just link the video that answers that question. But I think that's it. This thing is actually bringing the bugs. That thing. Oh, Linda said, I think we need to put it back up here. Because when I was out here, this one gets done. It's my fingernails. It cooled bleeding. down? Look, okay. it's done. It's bleeding. Okay, Fly. <laughs> you took my red one. She keeps lying. I'm not even touching her. Go away, Lizzie, because you're lying on me. I don't like being live on. I didn't even hit her with it. Just lying. I'm going to see y'all in the next vlog. But remember, no matter how hard life here. gets, keep holding it down. Mm -hmm. I should go over there and scare them. I'm gonna go run over there. <laughs> <laughs> that was the whole point.
boy. <laughs> I, I think you gave him a heart in that. <laughs> you guys are funny. What did you really come over here? Just to scare you. Because I just saw you over here all quiet. I just want to come over here and scare you. <laughs> that was funny. Because it was funny.